Welcome to Golf Getaway. In today's show, we're on the Gold Coast playing one of the most prestigious resort courses, the Glades. We're going to take a real close look at this Greg Norman masterpiece. Mira will be showing us one of his favourite holes on the Gold Coast and we'll be finding out how to choose the right putter for our game. Sean Fade Fay took up golf at 30. Plays off 10. Ugly on and off the tee. Bad left fade. Renowned tee dancer. Love celebrating his good putts. Yeah, you beauty! Very loudly. Yeah. Andrew Murray Two year greenhorn addicted to golf. Looks the business, but takes forever to hit. Plays off 10. Always recording his stats. Stronger than he looks, or so he says. Loves mirrors. Hi there, I'm Sean Fade Fay. And I'm Andrew Mira McComb, and welcome to the Glades. The Glades is a par 72, 6,431 metre championship golf course designed by champion golfer and Australian golfing legend, Greg Norman, and is typical of his trademark aggressive layouts. A real feature on the course is the Greg Norman-esque bunkering. In total, there are 98 bunkers over 18 holes. In his design, Greg not only had a vision to create a challenging golf course, but he also retained nine hectares of wetland area to create a natural wildlife sanctuary within the course. The Glades rewards aggressive shot making and along with the picturesque par threes makes the Glades a visually stunning experience. With all that wildlife around Fade there's sure to be some birdies out there. It's a deceptively easy starting hole here at the Glades. It's a 328 metre par four. Got out of bounds on the left. Fairways guarded by bunkers on both sides and we've got a tabletop green which is protected by some of Greg Norman's finest bunkers. Hey, let's have a bit of different fiddle today, eh? Match play, five, five, five. Something different. Nice shot. Gee, that second shot of mine was not too flash. This reflection looks good. Oh, unlucky, mate. Rough start to the day. But it's a start. The fifth here on the Glades is a signature hole, what a beauty. There's water down the left, there's a huge bunker down the left as well, a little bunker to the right with a lovely bailout area. Maybe I'll go to the bailout area. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Five bucks, close to the pin. You're on. Ooh, solid. Ha <laughs> oh, you're not going to claim that. You're two centimetres on and you're about 20 metres out. You're kidding. I'm five metres, but I'm just in the bunker. On the green, son. Oh, nice up and down. Wow, safe path from there. Yeah. Nice up and down though, well done.
must remember to move through the ball. One of my favourite holes on the Gold Coast fade, 398 metre par four. It's the ninth here at the Glades. Got a huge bunker system on the left there to protect my drives. A massive tree on the right, which I'm gonna aim for because I think that's gonna give me the best line in. And check out how immaculate those fairways are. Yeah, it's a pretty hole. Shot. Mira, they keep talking up these yellow balls. You know how when tennis went from white to yellow so the tennis players could see the ball better? White balls? When, when was that? Oh, it was a little while ago, okay? So anyway, I'm gonna give this a go. Looks a bit like a disco ball, but... <laughs> Very tidy. We all right. They look like my shoes. Come on. Yeah, nice putt. You can have that. Yellow ball worked for me. Yeah, I'm surprised the crows didn't grab it though. Yeah. Just a bit bright, aren't they? I'm inside the pro shop here at the Glades with Ryan. Ryan, the Glades are famous for their creeping bent grass greens. Durable all year round. I need a new putter. What are you going to recommend for me? Uh, okay, we've got a few different styles here. We'll start with the, uh, the newer uh, technology in the mallet style putter. It'll have a rubber insert there, so the ball will definitely come off a little bit firmer for you. Mm -hmm. uh, in the exact same face, but it will be more of the traditional blade style putter. Now, that will have the, exactly the same feel off the face. And then the third option, which is a little bit more traditional uh, and the better roll for our greens would be the milled face, which will keep the ball along the ground a lot sooner than the, the rubber style face. Okay, well let's go and check them out on the greens. Okay. okay, Ryan, we're on the greens, what are we doing? Okay, firstly I'll get you to try the uh, traditional blade style, but it does have the insert in the face, just to give you a feel of the face there. And if you do move on to the mallet style, it'll be the, the same feel off the face, but you will notice a lot different look when you're looking down at the head. And then from there, we'll go to the top of the line, Scotty Cameron putter, with a milled face. Now, you'll notice a distinct difference in the feel off the face. Uh, it should be a lot more feedback to you on the results of your putts. Oh, wow. Yeah, it feels a lot different to the other two, doesn't it? you'll definitely get a lot better feedback off this and I believe on the quicker greens it's going to suit a lot better than the, the more of the insert styled face. Fantastic. Well, I think this one's the winner so far. Thanks, Ryan. No problems. Thank you. Look at this. Spectacular. Lovely hole this one. Wait till you see it. Par three. Yeah, it's like playing at Kakadu National Park. 
What took you so long? One of my favourite holes here at the Glades. It's 147 metre par three. It's an island green surrounded by water. And when the wind blows, you need to take an extra club or two. <laughs> what are you going to hit? I think I'll hit the six. Right. Yeah, well, I'm hitting the five. Get there. Good shot. Beautiful shot, mate. You can have that. Too kind. Ooh, and you can have that. Good putt, mate. What a hole. Crikey, Faye. Talk about saving the hardest hole till last. I don't know if we're going to be able to make it in two, especially with this water carry. Yeah, it's a tough hole, all right, the 18th. It's a 418 metre par four. Dog leg left over water. Mirror, well, he's one up. If I can get this, we can halve the whole match. I think I'm going to play it safe. Oh, you wiss. Nice shot. I've got no choice. I've got to go for it. Don't go in the water. 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 Unlucky, unlucky. Oh, I bit off a bit more than I could chew. Hit the bank, rolled into the water. I'm dropping. I managed to avoid the water and land safely. I'm 160 metres out. This has to be one of the best finishing holes around to the green and regulation. Oh, oh <laughs> Rigga Rosie. Well played, mate. Thanks, mate. Thanks for a great day out. What a beautiful golf course. Wasn't it? Visually spectacular. Plenty of wildlife. I don't even mind losing to you on that golf course. Well fade, the Glades. What do you think? Pretty special, I loved it. Absolutely. Oh Ben, the superintendent should be commended. You know, the, the presentation of the gardens, the water features, the, the fairways, the greens, just immaculate. The wildlife, bird life, animals, lizards. I mean like, you always get a bit of that in the Gold Coast, but it seems like there's twice the amount out of there. Yeah, there was no kangaroos, but there was certainly everything else, wasn't there? The other thing I like is, the feeling, the atmosphere, the, the, it, it, and you can see why a lot of corporates like coming here and enjoying it and weddings and so forth. It just feels, feels really nice. Mm. Very special course. <laughs> the golf wasn't bad either. <laughs> Yours was. <laughs> Cheers. If you feel inspired to play the Glades, Golf Getaway has some fantastic deals available exclusively to our members. For more information, visit the Glades page at www.golfgetaway.com.au. Well, there it is. I'm Andrew Mira McComb. And I'm Sean Fade Faye. And we hope you enjoyed watching the Glades as much as we did playing it. For more videos, special offers and information, visit the Glades page at www.golfgetaway.com.au or like us at facebook.com forward slash golfgetawaytv. We'll see you soon.